great to be joined by so many of my colleagues. The, uh, I'm a supplier, so uh, there's a lot of us who can fight and call in this Congress. Uh, there's also a few on the other side who just wish they would poke their heads out and, and join us. Um, but so my always focus is more supply. You know, Roy made a comment about coal and stocking. You know, COVID to that wrap, and that's supposed to be a negative context for four areas. But I've got a, a community in my, I used to be in my old congressional district. I've lost every district, but this is Illinois Coal, uh, and they celebrate black diamond days. And that's important because black diamond is a precious commodity that they're proud of having. And as I think we're going to hear from our our panelists uh, is still uh, a diamond type resource that we need to take full advantage of that helps not only those who can afford real diamonds, but those who can afford, uh, you know, no diamonds. And I think that's part of the debate that's missing is everything that, that we've seen so far is only going to escalate prices, which hurts the middle and lower class Americans. Um, there's some broken interest that I have. Uh, the Illinois Coal Basin is one of the largest in the country. Uh, it is, uh, as a lot of people will call it, part of the Saudi Arabia of coal in the United States. And we still have plenty of resources, almost 250 years worth of uh, resources there that we should take involved in. Coal liquid is an issue that when we started this Congress had bipartisan supporters and kind of pull off the debate based upon uh, the speaker policy. And it's an issue that really will help stem our reliance on imported crude oil, something that the Department of Defense is very interested in pursuing. And that's why we're